There's something about standing for Jesus and then being thrown on the fire, like the three Hebrew boys. They stood their ground. They knew what would come if they didn't bow down and worship Nebuchadnezzar's image, right? And in many ways, our life today, Christians and believers who dare stand for an opposing position, who dare go against the grain of pop culture, there's a certain amount of fire that you're going to receive. But as a Christian, that is where you meet God. I don't feel like the places where you would experience God or the places where you meet God and have an experiential knowledge of Him can come any other place outside the fire. I'm not saying he's not the author of good times. I'm not saying he doesn't create great moments. But the places and the times where you will get to know him the most is usually going to be in the fire. So they throw the three Hebrew boys in the fire because they refuse to bow down and worship the image. And the people who threw him in the fire noticed something strange. They noticed a fourth man in the fire. There's a certain level of persecution that attracts that fourth man in the fire. There's a certain level of oppression that attracts that fourth man in the fire. The fourth man doesn't just come when you created your own chaos. I'm not saying God doesn't stand for you when you created your own chaos or when you're being disobedient. But it's a whole different thing when you're in line with God, you're in step with God, yet you're being persecuted. There's always going to be a fourth man, always. And now the stance in which these three boys took was the stance that really and truly each and every one of us as believers must adopt because our situations will not always look like that. Now, this is a very hard thing. They said, our God is able to save us. And even if he doesn't, now we all know a God who saves, right? Who comes and picks us up. But there are times like uh, Stephen, like Stephen, who got stoned and he, the Bible says he lifted up his eyes and he saw Jesus. And he said, don't hold this against. This walk as believers, my friends, is very real. <laughs> it's very real. But I'm here to tell you, whether that flame scorches you or whether it doesn't, there is a fourth man in the fire. And it is his presence that makes all the difference for each and every one of us. And so I go around my day knowing that it is more important to stand for God and get burned than go along the grain and meet another kind of fire eventually. Because there's many fires in our walk with God. There's the ultimate fire that comes in the end for those who haven't chosen this walk with God, who haven't chosen to surrender, who haven't chosen to lay their lives down and say, you know what, God, I choose you. There's another man in the fire. And this is an encouragement for you because that other man in the fire, he's on your side. Now, it may not go too well sometimes. You know, you can even ask the question, God, but if you are in the fire, why don't you stop the fire? Why don't you, like, just quench it, man? You know, I think it's an all in game. I'm all in. Whether it turns out this way or it turns out that way, I'm all in. I am all in. You know, that fourth man in the fire, the reason he doesn't quench that fire is so that when you come out of it, you'll be able to tell people that. I know a God who doesn't always get you out of the fire. I know you're feeling pain right now. But I know a God who can get you through that fire. And you will not be scorched. And you will not be burned to ashes. I know of that God, you know, and for some reason, it's a tough one, but it's a better testimony than I went to the fire, the fire got put off, and I walked through, and yay, you know, no, no, I, I went into the fire. It actually got heated up seven times, but I'm alive today. That's your testimony. He's going to take you through it because he's in it with you. And he's not untouched by your infirmities. He, he gets it. You know, when people get it, or when people say they get it, God actually gets it. He gets it. He understands why you're in there, when you're in there, and when you get out. He gets it. 
Is the fort man in the fire?